visualization is one of the most overlooked things that I think that we have that's a free tool that we can use every single day. And there's a part of your brain called the reticular activating system, which if you've ever, anybody ever bought a car and you never see the car, but then you buy it and you see it everywhere, right? Anybody had that happen before? Well, there's billions of bits of information that are coming into our brains or could come into our brains at any point in time. There's everything you see, hear, feel, touch, taste, smell, but your brain is filtering out literally everything except for 200 bits per second. So it's filtering out billions of bits of information every single second as you guys are sitting here. So the power of visualization, the reason why I think it's so important is because of the fact that you're training your brain what to look for on the path to whatever it is you're trying to get. So uh, the way I like to explain it is, is three points. It's like a GPS. You get into your car, you put in the destination, and your car will get you to the destination, right? Sometimes there's detours, sometimes things will come up. But your GPS, that's how it works, and that's what it's designed to do. So there's three points that you want to think about with visualization, and it's GPS. Goal is the first thing, path is the second thing, and screen is, this, and this is the third thing. So your goal, what is the goal that you're working towards? What are you trying to get to, right? That's usually the clearest part of it. You know what you want, and deep down, some of you might be, might be putting down goals that are lower than you actually want because you don't want to be disappointed. Don't do that. Go for the goal that you actually really want. And so that's the goal that you're going to think about. That's the first thing. The path is the second part. That's the one that's a little bit fuzzy, right? When you get in your car, it might say you're going to go this way, but then you look and you realize there's a detour, there's a crash, I've got to go a different way. You hit the detour button. The path is a little bit different. And with the screen, the way you want to think of it is this, if a movie's playing, right? You want to see the movie of your future every single morning. And so when you know what your goal is of what you want to do with your life, you have a rough idea of what the path is, then all you need to do is remind yourself of it every single morning and then see the movie, the screen, every single morning for 10 minutes. And it's that simple. So as you're going through this process and you start to get those feelings of, I'm not enough though, I can't, I can't get that big goal and you wanna go a little bit lower, don't allow yourself to go lower. Allow yourself to be, dream as big as you possibly can and think as big as you possibly can. And see that goal as if you were actually there. And what's going to happen is your brain is going to activate the reticular activating system and people, places, things, opportunities will start to come into your life because your brain's not going to filter them out anymore. Hmm. Right, you're going to start to see the people that you need to make the connections with. You're gonna see the opportunities that will get you to that goal and your life will start to fall into place. And this is why people are so obsessed with the law of attraction. How does it work? It's no super crazy thing. The law of attraction is your brain not filtering out the opportunities and the people and the places and everything that can get you to the goal that you are trying to get to in your life. So as you're going through this process, as you're visualizing today and every single day, allow yourself to think big See the path as it starts to change, but then remind yourself of the movie screen every single day as you're doing it. And if you do this every single day, you will notice the future that you dream, the big lofty goals that seemed impossible, will just somehow start finding themselves, like literally finding their way into your life.